this is Jacob Anderson and this video is uh, how to replace the bearings on a drive sleeve for a Shopsmith Mark V headstock. It's not necessarily going to tell you everything you need to know but it's to show you what tools you need. It, this is uh, more involved, a lot of friction in these bearings so you definitely need a couple of bigger tools to help you do it so most people don't have them. But this is the typical Poly-V uh, drive sleeve. Two big bearings. If the machine's over even 10 or 15 years old, these are usually needed because they get rusty inside and the grease dries up. So first step is to use a pry bar or a big screwdriver. Pop off the drive ring. Then I do some cleanup because there's already enough friction involved that uh, you don't want to be pushing bearings across rust and accumulated uh, dust. So we'll do a little cleanup before we move over to the bearing press. A lot of times you have to loosen this set screw so that you can get your bearing separator underneath the bearing. So you, you need to be able to slide it back and forth to get a gap. So I'll do that here. Okay, now we'll move to the bearing press to take them off. Okay, so I'm going to take this outer one off first using my bearing separator to hold underneath using my 12 ton press. Alright, that one's done. Now we'll slide and get the second one started. Drop it a notch and use a proper size spacer to push it the rest of the way up. Like I say, there's enough friction on these bearings and this shaft that it takes a 12 ton press. You couldn't take them off with uh, pliers or screwdrivers or anything like that. Now we'll just do a little bit of cleanup to get rid of the debris that was near the in the bearing area. Now I'm going to shift this back up <coughs> the set screw so that I can have it reinstalled correctly. Good. So I'm going to tighten that set screw again. I like to line it up with the flat on the shaft just so you can tell in the future if it ever spun and this one had. Okay, so it's clean. Now I'm going to go over to the bearing press and install a couple of brand new bearings. Okay, so this is a different bearing press that I used for this one. But again, it's 12 tons. It's just a more stable press. Okay, so you can see uh, how much friction was involved and how much work it was for the press. Now I'm just going to put the <coughs> drive ring back on in place, make sure it's not twisting. So there's brand new bearings installed on a drive sleeve. Alright, and there's my website address where you can order parts like the bearings and the belts. You can order my full length DVDs on repairing. You can order other literature owner's manuals and stuff like that. 
So go to my website. I have a web store as well. I can do full headstock repairs or repair components, just like you saw me do this one, uh, or sell you the parts or literature. So please visit my website. Thank you.